Hey guys, it's Joel Kim Booster. Hi, I'm Ron Funches. And we are about to go from the office to Molly's house and summarize Loot season one. Let's roll! Molly finds out her husband is cheating on her. What is wrong with you? You know what, I can explain. Leaves his ass. Molly is now the third wealthiest woman in the country. And heads to the Wells Foundation named after her that she did not know she had. We funnel your money to different charities and try to draw attention to people in need. And that's where I meet her cousin Molly. Come in here, girl. Turns out she wants to help, but she is horrible at it. I've personally never been unhoused. But there was one summer I had to stay at the plaza. At the end of those three weeks, I felt like I was getting out of Shawshank. But over a little bit of time, we start to get to enjoy her and love her more. I hope this all wears off soon and we get back to getting massages and buying castles online. And she brings me, Nicholas, her trusty assistant, to work with her where I also meet Howard, who is immediately obsessed with me. Now, I wouldn't call it obsessed, it's just sometimes you know a soul brother when you meet exactly. one. Exactly. Can I get back to catfishing my ex's dad now? That does sound interesting. It is. I think I'm falling in love with him. We also come together to give Nat Faxon Arthur dating advice. I'm in love with Molly, okay? You can't keep these things bottled up. You gotta let your heart sing. Which is very unsuccessful, ultimately. Yes, it was a futile thing to do. Where you lead, I shall follow Captain. Okay, you tell me if you feel that was a good start. But most of all, we got to support my cousin Molly. She has a whirlwind romance with a French billionaire. Oh, yes! who wants to also help the world by creating this machine that's supposed to clean dirty water. Oh, God! I gotta go, everyone. And at the end of season one, Molly decides to give away her entire fortune in order to better the world. Do you know what you just did? Let's give it up for this queen. She's back! Yeah. But then she also gets a little too drunk and sleeps with her ex-husband again. Oh. Things got pretty crazy last night, didn't they? Yeah. Who knows where she's at emotionally when we get to season two? It's not good. That's it.